Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Hump Brothers Pizza Ford from 2019. As always, take a look at the box. As you can see, this is an Elite, so you have the generic Elite box with the honeycomb pattern and the chrome foil Elite logo. Same thing down the side. You have 233 of these things. Standard finish, RCC Elite. Got the features of the old Elite on the back of the box. 2019 RCC Elite, and you of course have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. This was the Hump Brothers Pizza paint scheme that ran for a couple years there. And this is honestly another one of my favorite Hump Brothers paint schemes. There's something I just absolutely love about the simplicity of this one. This one is very similar to the old like Elliot Sadler Hump Brothers paint schemes too. Like just something about the green around the bottom with the, you know, the bright white on top to break it up with the thin red line breaking it up. You have it even like the white curves down around the logo over here. Like it is simple, but it looks really nice. I like the Hump Brothers paint schemes that have a little bit of a variety of the green and the white. You know, like I said, for Harvick's the last couple years, it just turned into just like solid green cars. In 2023, it was a solid green car. In 2022, it was a solid green car with a white hood. But like, I do think this looks way better. As of recording this video, we have not seen Joey Logano's paint scheme yet for Hump Brothers Pizza, but can't wait to see what that looks like. I can't imagine that's going to probably look cool. So anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. I picked this car up off of Plan B Sales Black Friday deals. He always has such amazing deals on Circle B Diecast. Like there's so many good Black Friday deals there and like... Now that I wanted to get some Hump Brothers cars, perfect. I was able to get like three or four Hump Brothers cars off of that Black Friday sale. So that's really good. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Hump Brothers Pizza. Got Ford Mustang, number four, and Stuart Haas Racing. Down the side, you have Hump Brothers Pizza. You got Jimmy John's, Mobile One, and Haas. I'm kind of surprised Jimmy John's didn't pop back in for his final year. He doesn't have Subway anymore. Subway like came in late 2021, kicked Jimmy John's out, then had a couple races in 2022, and then just dipped. But I was kind of expecting Jimmy John's just come back for one race as like a throwback or something, but they didn't. Anyways, on the C post, you have Mobile One. On the B post, you have Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Hump Brothers Pizza. Got the really stupidly placed Kevin Harvick name on the name rail. That happened with the Sturhaus racing cars for a couple years for some reason, where like for some reason, it must have been in their artwork they were sending to Lionel, but like... Why is it so tiny and off to the side like that? That looks terrible. Anyways, you got Bush Beer, Mobile One, Exalta, and Rush Truck Centers. This is back when it was still the Monster Energy Cup Series, so you have the Monster Energy logos. Other than that, got your regular contingencies and such up front. On the back, you have two Hump Brothers Pizza logos and the Ford GT logo. Got the Ford Michigan license plate number four. Got Hump Brothers Pizza on the deck lid and Bush on the roof. This is number 183. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. Or maybe not. Yeah, I guess that, that hood does not want to budge. Huh. Oh well, guess we're not taking a look under the hood. Can take a look under the deck lid being an elite. There's your typical fuel cell and such back there. Roof flaps of course do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. A little bit more detail than we currently have for Elites, although they are making that like fancy uh, Premier Elite for like $140. But... Just a cool Hot Brothers paint scheme, not a whole lot of talk about the car like this. Like I said, Hot Brothers Pizza has been a long time sponsor of NASCAR at this point. They've been around since like 2008. And now they're with Joey Logano, so can't wait to see what they do with him. They do seem to have a lot of fun. Like, the commercial was already fun with Logano, where you had, like, Harvick, like, taking the uh, pizza away from Logano and then giving it back to him. And the fact that Harvick's still involved is really cool. Like I said, they were very loyal to Harvick. They do seem like a very loyal sponsor. Like, I mean, they stay with Elliott Sadler. Like, even they, they had, like, Elliott Sadler in his final year at Junior Motorsports still. So, like, they, they seem to, if you're good to them, you're, they're good to you. And just like I said, they were with Harvick for over 10 years. Or what did that one car say? It was like 14 years of pizza and racing. So, really nice to see. Can't wait to see what else the future holds for Hot Brothers Pizza. If you want this car, it isn't too hard to get. Most of the Hot Brothers cars don't go for that much. But, like I said, I got this for really cheap off of Circle B Diecast's Black Friday sale. 
Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to Circle B Diecast, and if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. So go check that out if you want anything. But I think that's much all there is to say. This has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Hot Brothers Pizza Ford from 2019. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.